Hello and welcome to first video for my blog. Uh, today we're tackling a pretty simple subject, but it should be cool, uh, desert bases. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is paint the entire top of the base in a nice thick layer of PVA glue. Okay. And once you've done that, drop a couple of pieces, one or two, whatever you choose, shale chunks and any other debris maybe you want to put on there, a skull or something like that. The rest of the space, after you got all that stuff, go ahead and scatter on some fine sand. Now, I personally would definitely stick with the clean fine sand rather than something with a lot of different size pebbles and grains in it because it's going to communicate sort of that sandy texture a lot better rather than like a gravel or a rocky ground. Okay. So once that's completely dry, we go ahead and I've uh, chosen the base coat of this to be a Vallejo Game Color Beastie Brown. Uh, I personally am a big fan of Vallejo paints, but if you're going to go ahead and use a Games Workshop palette like a lot of you guys will, uh, this is Bestial Brown. Okay. Try to thin your paints a bit to get it to penetrate into all the cracks and crevices, and don't worry about it if you paint a little bit on the rocks. We're getting to those later. Okay. Next, once that's completely dry, we go ahead and do a heavy dry brush of Plague Brown. If you're using the Workshop palette, that's going to be Bubonic uh, Brown. Uh, like you see here in the picture, you want to make sure you're not getting any streaks on there, so remove almost all the paint from your bristles, but at the same time you want to aggressively dry brush it to where you would lighten up the entire top surface of the base. And again, don't worry about over scatter on the rocks or anything else. We're going we're gonna to get to those later. All right. Looking for a nice even, even highlight on all of it. Finally, for the sand anyway, uh, we go ahead and give it a good light to medium dry brush of bone white. And if it's the workshop palette, this is bleached bone. All right. Now, I don't do it on this one, but if you wanted to take it a step further and get it even lighter, you could also go with a, a final light dry brush of white. Personal preference, I like it this way. Okay. All right. Once we're happy with the dry brushing is all done, we need to go ahead and paint the stones. And the color I've chosen for that is cold gray. Uh, workshop paints, that would be codex gray. It would be a good choice. Now you could paint these in more of a brown tones that maybe be a little more realistic for the desert. But um, I like to have a little bit of variety in colors, a little bit of contrast in there. To me, it just makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more interesting. Incidentally, if you looked at the, this is a very, very close match to what the Games Workshop Studio painted their Dark Eldar army on, if you've seen pictures of that. So, this will get you real close there. Okay, once that paint is completely dry, I went ahead and applied undiluted uh, Vallejo Wash uh, Black Shade. And uh, if you're using Workshop paints, that would be Badab Black. Okay, and just get it good on there. Don't worry about it, you know, thinning it down or everything. We want it nice, nice and dark. And that's one of the great things about the shale here is it's going to pick up a lot of that pigment. Uh, you know, it's going to get in all the little cracks and crevices and make it just a lot more interesting and give us a lot more to work with when we go to, to dry brush it here in a minute. Okay. Once that wash is completely dry, we'll go ahead and go back to the cold gray we originally base coated in and dry brush it, uh, dry brush it on there. And you can see here all those cracks and crevices have now got black in there, and they've also got the some of the uh, cold gray that's been darkened by the by the wash. Okay. And then finally, just to give them that extra bit of pop, we're going to go ahead and do a light dry brush of Stonewall gray, and this would be Fortress gray if you're using workshop paints. Okay. Actually, one of the reasons I did this video is because this is the paint scheme I'm using for my current major hobby project, the uh, my, my Death Corps of Krieg uh, Armored Regiment. All the guys are getting based just like this. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and paint the edges of the base. I'm using uh, Vallejo Game Color Extra Opaque Heavy Sienna. All right, if you're using workshop paints, uh, the, I guess the closest probable um, compatible color here would probably be Foundation Calthon brown it would be pretty darn close but this is I mean like all this this is only one way to do it personal preference you want to have it black it would look good if you want to go with a lighter shade like beastie brown that would look good too um, I like so again I like contrast I think it makes it more interesting but at the same time I want to keep the edges of the bases kind of themed in those in those browns and tans so heavy sienna works for me once that's completely dry last step here we're gonna go ahead and add a few clumps, a few dabs of PVA glue, and then we're going to take uh, some tweezers and grab some Gale Force 9 Arid Static Grass 
and just uh, punch it on and on the on the glue there knock off the excess blow on it a bit to get it to stand up and boom there it is base is done not too much effort and looking great here's the recipe pause it here if you need to write this down thanks a lot for checking out my video uh, comments always welcome if you ever have any questions or comments drop by my blog adeptusmalaysia.blogspot.com for any time thanks a lot